What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to focus in on the two defensemen the Tampa Bay Lightning brought in. Uh, obviously, let's start with the one that came from the West Coast. Uh, Sammy Salo, 37-year-old, who's freakishly injured. Uh, got low-balled by Marshawn this year, so you know, it's, it's what it is. Um, signed a two-year, $7 million deal. Slightly overpaid for him, but a veteran presence who can be a righty shot on that blue line. I'll definitely give that team a shot. The um, you know, they needed help defensively. You know, they went out, they got the goal. And they'll need the the defenseman to fill in. So they brought in Salo. And then last night signed former Lightning Matt Cal, who played 12 games for them in 08. To a five-year deal that pays him pays him a lot. Uh, wait for it. Wait for 33.5 million total. So 5.5 a year. Um, you know, he's. Solid defenseman, turnover prone, but I think he definitely helped that blue line. Um, was actually brought in from the Dan Boyle trade, and then traded more or less with Steve Downey. So this is history with the Lightning. Uh, Twelve games four years ago, um, but you know, all-around good player. You know, I think he definitely helped that team. I think their the top four got a lot better. Um, you know, you look at that. They got realistically, uh, Kyle, Brewer, Salo, Hedman. You know, and then. I get some youngsters to fill in, you know, Keith Ollie, Brian Lee, Mark Andre Bergeron, power play specialist. And then if Matias Olin can get healthy, uh, he'd be a good shot down to that unit. Uh, I definitely think Tampa may have quietly won the offseason, at least in the Southeast Division. Uh, they are the one team that got significantly better. Um, you know, improving their biggest weaknesses. When you got the leading goal scorer in the NHL, you need guys that can prevent goals from going up. So bringing in defensemen, bringing in Lynn back, they did very well. Um, and, you know, they just, I thought they had some pretty shrewd draft picks that should help them down the line. But they, they've established a team that can go back to where they were two years ago, not last year. You know, they definitely regressed after being a win away from the finals. But, you know, I, I think they're definitely in a position where they can, can be a playoff team next year and probably in the Southeast Division. You know, they're a better team than they were. At the, and I think you have to be like me and watch every game last year to realize how poor the goaltending was, you know, how untimely, how soft the goals were. And, uh, you know, I can't think of how many times they'd fight back and then roll us in into a Garon would, uh, you know, blow it. And it'd be, it's, it's deflating to a team. It makes you be a little more conservative than you should be. When you get snipers like Tampa has, you need to be aggressive. And uh, improve, improving in the crease and uh, bringing in some solid defense and definitely helps out. So we'll see what happens. I'm pretty excited for the Bulls to start. I was caught a little overpaid, yeah, but so is everyone else. It's under security for agent. Let's stop getting ourselves. Um, and I think he can resolve the turnover issues if he's in a system where he's comfortable. He's a, he's probably the, the guy, the number one defenseman. I look for him to be, uh, compete with Hedman and Brewer for top four minutes. I think maybe he can bring the best out of Hedman. You never know. I think he gives the Lightning what they need. And uh, I think... Another playoff run could be on deck in Tampa Bay. Stevie Eisman knows what we're doing, knows what he's doing. Um, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ on what on the Tampa Bay Lightning bringing in Matt Cowell and Sammy Salo. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.